Hi there. Today's tutorial is going to be how to strip powder coat on a cup so that you can personalize it in that regard. Um, this is supposed to be my first video of the new year. And let me tell you how many times I've screwed up for various reasons. So I highly recommend practicing this on junk cups before you dive in. I feel like I've got it almost worked out. I was not smart. I tried doing it on this. And although I was successful on actually removing it, <laughs> um, this was not crisp enough because it's not flat. I am not smart sometimes. So, anyways, we are going to use citrus strip gel and this Oracle stencil vinyl. I got this giant roll at like one of those Amazon resale stores in Abilene when I was home visiting. Um, so, since this is going to be Hubby's coffee cup for the road, he informed me that he wanted something kind of geometric like lines and stuff, not necessarily circles and all that. So I'm going to cut strips so that I can kind of figure all that out. Worst case, I overlap and I just cut it with a blade and just make sure everything is nice and smooth. Um, one thing I did learn in the course of this hot mess attempt at trying to do something, um, the painter's tape, is not helpful when it comes to protecting your cup from citrus strip um, at least the spray that's one of the things that I messed up on is I had my stencils of these cute little coffee cups all over and then the citrus strip ate through or worked through the uh, painters tape so anyways so what we're gonna do is take this off alcohol the whole thing this is my bottle of alcohol it's ugly it's got epoxy all over it 91 <clears> percent. <throat> if you're curious <laughs> i didn't even get that part wet oh my goodness um the convenience of having a bucky's close by they used to have the rtic or arctic however you want to pronounce it um, brand as they're like available for purchase whatever um, a couple years ago that I guess contract I guess the way they work things is by contract I don't know whoever gives them the best price so it's very convenient to go grab those and they switched to Yukon a couple years ago and then they have some ready-made with designs on them so right now, all they have is this baby blue, kind of a baby yellow, and neon pink, like brighter than this silicone pink. It's like, um, let's do this. I didn't want any of the Walmart cups because they have like the raised logo and it's got the, um, the powder coat already off of those spots too. This one, at least that logo is a little less intrusive. Just getting my debris off of there, like lint or something. So what I'm gonna do now is cut up my stencil vinyl. Just make myself a few strips to kind of figure out what I want to do. And as I overlap them, I'm gonna like really work my creases down so I can avoid having too much gapping because that will ruin the design. So I have a few triangles cut. I thought maybe it'll be easier to try and do little pieces of triangle here and there and kind of fill it in from there. So let's just see. <laughs> okay, gloves have to go off. My initial thought was gloves on to prevent getting any oils, but clearly that is not gonna be helpful at this moment. And I'm not worried that the stainless is showing because um, it's not going to do anything anyways. It's not going to do anything to the stainless. Nice and smooth on your edges there. Tricky part is going to be this curve. 
he really threw me like a loop, threw me for a loop when he said, oh, let's do geometric. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> That's not like you. Let's just do it kind of like that. One of the reasons I wanted to use stencil vinyl this time is because I totally, um, when I left the citrus strip on there, I did like a 24 hour sit just because I was having such a hard time with the spray and I knew that that other finish was so stubborn so I went ahead and left it on for 24 hours and it kind of started trying to eat through all right this man does not get what he wants <laughs> he gets his initials he gets a monogram or something this curve and that is not going to play nice. Not happening. The only, the only way to get it past that would be if we cut little strips. I don't feel like dealing with that. So he's going to get what I give him. Okay. Got that cut out. It didn't really place like I wanted it to, but that's okay. We can still just use it like that. What I will do is some of these scraps that I'm not going to use that I had just cut up. I'll use them as kind of a protection uh, around this thing because that, even though it's gel, it it kind of oozes. I was really glad that I had done that on some of my others, even though on one of my failed experiments or experiences, whatever you want to call it, it um, it totally seeped underneath anyways. So we'll see how this works out. <laughs> But I am using this thicker vinyl because I want to uh, give myself the best chance of it not eating through. So I'm going to use a little piece of transfer tape so that all of my pieces stay where they're supposed to. And my little insets right there don't get off kilter. Just an old piece. It doesn't have to be fancy. What matters is how well it sticks to the cup. <laughs> okay, there's that. And I've got that there, so let's put that on the bottom. Pretty close anyways. Now we're going to center this like that. Hopefully straight. If not, fix it before if it's too bad. And then just press that baby down. That's how you do your stencil there. is literally Dollar Tree transfer tape. Why is it gripping so good? Boy. Had a little bit of a do over there. I had to cut off some of that because that curve, it was just making it sit weird. And I'm going to have to fix right there because that did not want to come off. This honestly wants to come off a little too easily. Except for the transfer tape. It don't want to come off at all. I 
that's one of the biggest clusters I've ever gotten myself into. Oh my goodness. That was a nightmare. Why was that so difficult? Oh my goodness. Okay, now I'm going to take my heat gun. And I know I said that I didn't want to use painter's tape. That was just to hold that. Now I'm going to go over it and like seal everything with more vinyl. But we are going to use the heat gun. I'm going to show you how it kind of shrinks it down just a little. Just kind of smooth that out. You don't want it so hot that your vinyl bubbles. Ask me how I know that one. But that is absolutely sticking to that better. You can kind of see the darker spots a little bit, especially around the A. Now we are going to protect all these edges with more vinyl. And like I said earlier, I let one of them sit, that last one sit for 24 hours because I was just having so much trouble. But this one, I'm going to come back out in the morning and check it. So it'll be, I don't know, 10 hours. It's 6.30 now. Mm, yeah, maybe 12 hours. That's probably more accurate. I usually get up around, I don't know, six-ish on a weekday. I'm not worried about this piece of exposed painter's tape because it's already got a layer of vinyl right underneath it. But I do want to do that because if it... It like oozes over. And I don't need that to lay down flat. That is just to protect this. And I'm almost tempted to let this just rotate instead of it just sitting and going that way. What I did on one of the cups that I messed up, so take this with a grain of salt is I kind of set it in a way that this made like a, almost like a little catcher. And that seemed to help because at one point it did kind of slide down and droop, drip, whatever. So now I'm gonna put my gloves back on. And we are gonna put on some citrus strip. If you have any popsicle sticks or anything, that would be good for applying this stuff for sure. That way you could just toss it. I'm just going to use my stir stick. It has almost the consistency of slime. Like a runny slime. Okay, let's get that on there. It needs to be covered, but it doesn't need to be like mounded high. Since this gel is so much more intense than the spray, what I might do is just come out here in about an hour and do like a test rub. And what I mean by that is I'm going to take a non-abrasive something and kind of rub it in one of those spots just to see if that powder coat is lifting like it's supposed to. Okay, I'm going to walk away from this. Ah, I missed I got a spot that's kind of dry right there. Powder coat is such a pain in the tail. If I haven't already deleted, I'll throw some of the bloopers at the end of this. I may have already deleted them since I'm so mad.
it's been two hours. And so I am gonna just check this. Yep, I actually don't. I don't think that's bad at all. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of gently persuade that to come loose and then I'll wipe it off. But this way I can kind of use it as a guideline. <laughs> I think I might have had a final success. <laughs> I hate when everything goes wrong, but it happens. My biggest concern I think is gonna be right here in these in the B. The B, the A, and the R. Just wanted to show the very last letter here. I found that it, this was pretty easy. Just kind of roughing up all around. And then I just rubbed it. And that's how I kind of got my crisp lines. It's very satisfying. Just gonna clean up that little spot right there. And now I'm gonna go wash it so that I can get off any possible debris. It's so crooked. Oh my God. Pretend it's straight. It's just for hubby. In like three days, it's going to be covered in mechanic grease anyways. <laughs> so, anyways, the process is still there. Uh, so, yeah, that turned out pretty good. Just going to continue. Yep, that's good. Not bad. I got it decently centered, decently straight. If you were doing this for an order, obviously... Um, you would want to be way more cautious than I just was. I'm so glad that I finally got a successful one. Like I've already showed you this ugly one here. It was bad. I have a couple others too, but man, about time. I will say the citrus strip gel is way better than the spray. That's really good. That's that right there. I just got it at Ace Hardware, but they make it, I mean, they sell it pretty much anywhere. Um, they have a paste also, which I really wanted because I think that would just be real easy to go on. But uh, it was like $35 because it was like a half gallon size bucket. Not worth it for what I wanted. So anyways, ignore the fact that it's crooked. It's just for hubby, for his to go. Uh, he's a mechanic, like I said, so it's going to be real gross in just a couple days anyway. <laughs> He'll survive. And he has already been warned that it is not a cool geometric design. <laughs> he's okay with it. I'm really hoping that I didn't delete all of my bad ones because I really do want to show you how ugly this turned out. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good one. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments. This is the cup I was using, the spray citrus strip, and it totally worked through the masking tape. The stencil part worked, but you can see here where it was very obvious that it had kind of softened up that powder coat, and it just really messed it up. And then on this next one, the vinyl didn't lay down properly, and at the very bottom of the picture, you can see where it oozed down and kind of bled through, so to speak.